All right, today we're doing Foundation Season 2, Episode 9. What did you think of the episode? I give it overall a 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. There are lots of action, lots of reveals, lots of stuff going on. Um, we finally see the Invictus, finally, and then, and then, and then it's gone. But we see it. Uh, we learn a lot about Demerzel. That was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, the battle above Terminus was awesome. The tactics, a little suspect. But it was fun. CG, awesome. Uh, Hober Mallow's plan was a success. I was like, okay, sure. Um, Harry sacrificed Terminus. That was weird to me. You know, like, was that necessary? Didn't, you know, wasn't quite seeing everything there. Uh, The Mentalics should use their powers more. Let's just say it. Like, why, why, why are we fighting? Let's uh let's use our let's use our powers, uh, and Harry's alive. So I mean, just it was just reveal after reveal after thing after, and I was just it was like whoa, I'm along for the ride. Really enjoyed it. Um, I did want a little more nuance uh, in some of the events that were happening, and a little less like hitting you over the head with it. Uh, but it was an awesome ride, and always great acting, great production values. Um, what do you think? Yeah, that's it. It's finally going down. The season's been building up all the way. We're in episode nine to now, nine now, and it's coming together. And okay, I really like that day. He's like, this church is an armory. The religion is a cult. And this planet, we're taking it back. It's a police action. Like, I see it. I see it from the perspective of the emperor. That's exactly right. Like, all his moves, like, from the audience, we're supposed to be like, no, no, it's bad. Like, from his perspective, justified. Exactly right. That space battle, though. That space battle, like, CG. Fantastic. Super cool. Look great. Also anticlimactic. There's lots of scenes of people just be like, we did it. Like, oh no, we're under attack. Like, felt very strange. Very strange. And also, like, it wasn't, like, very space battle It just looked like a normal battle. Cool reveal. Super cool reveal at the end that Demerzel is the forever empress. Yet at the same time, she, she has, like, all this power. Yet at the same time, she has no power. And, and she doesn't have this free will of her own. It's like a self-sustaining, powerless, powerful empire. Cleon the First had, I mean... Brilliant idea. Very cool. Very cool idea. So we get into the episode? Let's get into it. Let's do it. So this is the box. This is the box that Cleon the First gives to Demerzel, and, and it's the tools inside of how she needs to maintain herself. So very cool. That it, and also beautiful. This beautiful story that he's like, I want to give you this freedom. I want to be able for you to be able to come out of this prison. And so I, I search the entire galaxy. I scour the galaxy to find these tools for you. And there's very nice detail on the top of the box. Because Demersel is the final robot that came from Earth in the Robot Wars. And here we see it. We see the, I think they hit nine. The nine planets is at the time. Nine. Oh, nine. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got the eight planets. Very nice detail. Eight mm-hmm. planets of Earth, of the Earth's soul system. Uh, very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very cool. I actually didn't know what this was in the moment. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool gift. But I see now that it's maintenance tools. Right. It's the tools that she would need in order to repair her body um, if she has mm-hmm. freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at the same time, she doesn't actually have freedom. There's that moment where she could have killed him. She could have snapped the old man's neck. But she allows him to build the, put this chip in her, which then controls her programming. So so where did he... Was his chip just lying around? Right. Like the, the And he, was, he had to go... His, the chip, must he must have been able to program it. Be like, don't go after me. <laughs> um, so he had, to, he had the chip... Uh, and he had a device to program the chip. He and knew he had, how to install it. He knew how to install. It. He's oh yeah, it's just right on the back of her neck here. Like, so my thought was that he didn't program it himself. Mm-hmm. He figured out someone who had the specialty to program it. Okay. But like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Empire is coming in. He's like, I want, I have a job for you. I want you to program this thing to like control a robot and tell it not to t- to attack me. If I'm a programmer, I'm like, this is my opportunity to hijack this robot and get this robot on my side. <laughs> Why would I program it for the Empire? Like he, he, this, this like Empire is putting a lot of trust in that programmer, whoever whoever programmed this this chip. Mm-hmm. Like that's a lot of trust because he could have dropped in this chip, and then and then Demersal like, I now work for this programmer dude, mm-hmm. and I'm going to kill you. And now this guy's the new guy's the emperor. Why would they make the new guy the emperor? Because the new guy, he's like, I'm writing this chip 
to put into this robot because the only reason you asked me to write this chip for a robot means you have a robot, mm-hmm. right? So, so the programmers guys like the Empire comes in and says like, I want a robot, I want a chip that will control this robot. Mm-hmm. So I'm reading between the lines. I'm saying there's a robot that's out there, the only robot left, and I'm writing a chip that's going to control their behavior. I'm going to make that robot my servant. Mm-hmm. And so like, and like Empire is not going to know. He's not a programmer. He's like, sure. he's not going to be able to decode this thing and figure out what's right or wrong. Mm-hmm. Like he's, he could be installing somebody's like flash drive that has a virus in it. Mm-hmm. Like this is super high risk maneuver. Yeah, it was super high risk. Yeah. Is that, is that what you want to say? That's what I thought. I was thinking just w- the infrastructure that he would need to create this programming just you got to find the people you got to program it you got to look up the manuals or everything that's it right. seemed like an enormous task um to actually put this all together and at this point she's like forty thousand years old or whatever yeah. like who even speaks this programming language anymore that's right <laughs> yeah, how do they yeah, do this how do we look it all up i mean maybe somewhere in the corner of the galaxy but you gotta go find them is that one kid that's like i speak fortran like yeah, yeah. I yeah. say for chan for tran or, or tran the old yeah, program yeah, old yeah. program there. I speaks machine mm-hmm. basic like mm-hmm. who does this yeah yeah so it was, it was it struck me as very weird that he was able to pull this off and they just it's just sort of he's able to do it drop it in there yeah perfect and he's able to install it perfectly the first time instead of finding like oh it's not <laughs> imagine he's like I plugged it in backwards like yeah, yeah. I take it out of it flip it around <laughs> also it's gonna stick out of her neck. I guess it's not installed here in this picture. It's part way. Part way. Part way. This is on Terminus. Uh, this is so far after the founding of Terminus in the future. And we still, no paved roads. I know we've been harping on this, but damn, pave the damn roads. And these still, they're still using these containers, like That's build right. actual buildings. <clears throat> well, I don't know what the issue is. They're able to build whisper drives. What's the issue? We're, we're harping on this, but... This, this picture tells us why we should be harping it. They got these like landing pads nearby with these little walls. Great, fantastic. Try to control the dust. The dust is higher than the walls. This is not being controlled. That means that like all over these people's homes, their windows, and like they're just getting splashed with dust every time one of these whisper ships drops down. And what are these little, little bulb guys? I don't know. I think maybe some kind of farming thing. They look to me like what I would do if I was trying to capture moisture out of the air. You know, like, capture it in a steamy ball, let the water condense down. Mm-hmm. But now you got that right next to this like dust generation. Like cool, now I got dirty water. Yeah. So this infrastructure for the landing and everything could be built far away, way That's out right. here. That's right. They got like yeah. land like got like hovercraft or whatever, like just land the ship far away and then yeah. zoom over. And one of the things to, to have on Terminus is space. Plenty. Yeah. Plenty of space. Yeah. Yeah. Super weird. Super weird. I mean, the, the fact that they're able to build these whisper drive ships that outclass the Empire. And yet they can't build a building? Weird. 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 And then they got this sweatshop guys inside their church armory. Yeah, so this is inside the scientist church. And I guess this is where they're building some of the magic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just, it seems like a drug dealer, you know, (laughs) operation. Like, what is that? They're not building super advanced tech. You need suppliers and infrastructure and R&D. What? Also, there's a lot of space in this room. Like, why are you making people rub elbows constantly? Like, give mm-hmm. me a nice working environment. And and worship is happening right next to manufacturing. That's so weird. Give me some nice lights. I'm not straining my eyes all the time. Right. Sick fist bump, though. Look at that. That's so friendship. That, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what's happening in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this is, in this in this room, they were able to build alchemy machines that converts metal into, well, I guess other metals, sure. metal into any other metal that they sure. want, or I guess any element into another element they want. That's right. In this That's case, right. they showed, I think it was iron to gold. Mm-hmm. I mean, amazing tech. Yeah. Right. This machine that is able to do the alchemy right here mm-hmm. is created. Where is it created? Here. That doesn't seem right. That's like a mismatch in levels. That's a mismatch in levels, right? Yeah. Because you got these people working in sweatshop-like environments with low light, bad ergonomics. That's right. And they're doing they're going from R&D to drawing board to manufacture to implementation all right here. Right here. 
And this is not, this is just one device. You've got multiple devices. That's right. Why don't they have like a basement or some just different levels? Get all just jammed up in one place. Well, if you think in order to build anything in the modern world, how many, how many factories are in play? How many right. people are so you have like the ore refinement and then you have or like ore gathering then your right. ore refinement and then you have shipping and like that's just getting the raw materials that's right and there's even... multiple multiple raw materials right 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 right, right, right. Yeah. and then that's going to come to a factory and make the sub components right which then gets shipped off to another factory which makes this other components and it's 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 potentially millions of people yep and here we've got foundation making them with hundreds Right there, and it's like it's assembly line right there. Right there. That's, it's... Also, if they're so good that they can build these wish ships, why are they doing this by hand? That's get, right. Get a conveyor belt. What are you guys doing? Right. This is automation and, yeah. and and all of this stuff would be part of the, the situation. They're limited on humans because they don't have a high population. So automation but would be the name of the game. Their advantage is tech. Yeah. Well, then use tech. Curious. So, so What's going weird. on with these guys? Yeah, I guess maybe they didn't want to show their hand to Empire. So they're like, oh, here's our dilapidated operation. Clearly, stuff's going on here. But the real stuff's going off. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe like, like somewhere else inside the mountain, there's like the actual yeah. industrial complex. Yeah. But it couldn't be seen from orbit. An Empire didn't care to I'm, look. I'm okay with that. This yeah, is like his yeah. de their decoy base. Decoy base. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Let's watch the space battle. Let's watch it. All pilots proceed to ships immediately and prepare for launch. Ellis-1, you are cleared to launch. Okay. Ellis-1 to all wings, form up on me. Ellis-2, maneuvering to engage. Taking heavy fire! Weren't these assholes supposed to be merchants? Okay. So, so this line, weren't these assholes supposed to be merchants? Have you not done intelligence? Where was your briefing? That's right. That's right. <laughs> like, like, get in the ships. We'll just go in the fight. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to the fight plan. We'll figure it out as we go. What? Yeah. There's no recon here. There's, there's no, no, like, what are we fighting against? Like, just get in the ships. Yeah, there's not even like a briefing. That's right. Like, do we know who we're fighting against? Actually, we don't. Assess as you're going. Like, like they're merchants. Don't worry about it. Like, don't what? What? <laughs> What a, what is happening here? Also, safety equipment. That's right. A little tiny crack in the glass. They don't have any oxygen masks. They don't got yeah. pressure suits. They have no helmets. They, they have, have no seat pressure belts. suits. They have, they have no seatbelts, no they're straps. Like, they're like the ships doing high G maneuvers and like <laughs> floating around. Like, <laughs> stay I'm tight to the chair. Gonna face plant myself into the glass. Merchants. Target the back of the spacecraft. It's a navigation center. More about the briefing. He's finding this stuff out on the fly. On the fly. Like we should be <laughs> known to target that stuff during training weeks back. You know what I'd do if I were the Whisper ships? I'd put an armored plate there. That's right. Yeah. It would be the most armored part of my ship. <laughs> but effective. <laughs> is that fucking bad? Yeah. You just caught a pass to the Invictus. On the engine call. Break off, break off! Okay. Okay. Returning. Palace one. So first off, Invictus is super vulnerable. Like a couple hits on that one little section. That's right. And the whole thing is going up, popping off. Um, I also, I, I really wished Glaywin had like used the structure of the Invictus against itself. So mm -hmm. like you shoot the ring, it's popping off. Then you mm -hmm. dive through it because like on the top side of this plate, like a dinner, yeah. it's like explosions. That's where all the fragments are going to be. Yeah. That's where all the shrapnel is going to be. Don't don't fly over that. Like dive down, go underneath it. Yeah, get in, get in tight here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the guns are less effective. Yeah. If you're sitting up here, they got a good line of sight on you. They're just mm -hmm. missing. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they're just missing, but they're just missing. 
I just missed. And it. like on the approach run, when they're coming in before the attack, mm-hmm. like all of the imperi- the empire ships just flying in a line. Like, well, from from the capital mm-hmm. ship, they're just gonna shoot in the same direction. Like, mm-hmm. use the three D ness of space. Like, attack from all sorts of different angles. Make mm-hmm. that capital ship like spin its guns around trying to track stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why well, come in two D? The old con mistake. That's a con mistake. <laughs> Also, what is the general doing? He's That's like right. He's like intently watching the fighter battle. Like you're you're command of the fleet. You the got all fleet. kinds of things to worry about. The other ships, the other fighters, supplies, you know, what's going on everywhere. You got this like battle reports, like damage yeah. reports, like yeah, you really got this oh like this bird's eye view of the situation. Yet he's like hyper focused on his husband. Like, like, what are you doing? You cannot, you cannot be in command at this point in time. Can we go back and, and look at Del Rios? Mm-hmm. Look at everyone on the bridge, just it, frozen still. Just, no, nobody's working. <laughs> nobody's working. Like I guess you know, Del Rios is his husband's out there, so we can just sit tight. That's right. <laughs> like, like I ain't getting in orders. I'm not paid for anything else. <laughs> yeah, because here's a navigator. Yep. Well, she's it, like, correctly nothing to do. They're not jumping. Just hang out. You're, right. you're fine. But then I don't know what these other people's jobs are. Currently nothing. Currently is nothing because the only thing going on is the fighter battle. It's the Glywin. <laughs> yeah. But this battle is so cool. Super cool. But also no feeling. <laughs> just Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super weird. And then Glywin does. He goes down. Also, Glaywin doesn't report that he's going down. He's not like, I'm going to land on the other side of the planet. Like, he's just, He just goes down. That's right. He just goes down. He doesn't report. He's not incapacitated at this point. He's clearly awake. Clearly awake. So why not report in? I mean, you got a direct line to the general of the fleet. <laughs> you need to report in. <laughs> There's no better comms than this person. I mean, wouldn't they have squadron comms talking to squadron leaders, talking to higher up, like many layers? Right. He's got a direct line to the freaking, not not the bridge of the ship, like which would be an the general. The, the general. He's the fleet general. <laughs> Weird. 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 But super cool. Still yeah, super cool. Super cool. Super cool. This is a weird fight. So this is, I think his name. What is his name? Salvor versus Jack Dude. Versus Jack Dude. I, I can't remember, I don't his, remember name. his name. He's huge muscles. Impressive. Yeah. So they get in this fight. They're like rolling around in the mud. He's using the, the face change trick to mess with Salvor. How about unsl- uh, Unthinker? Unthink Salvor. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. The, the whole point of the Metallix people is that they can unthink people. They got mind powers. He doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. He's like, I want to fight. I want to roll. Okay, that makes sense. He wants to roll around the mud with Salvor. Okay, 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 I see that. <laughs> but he could just be like, unthink, and then she's... I, I won. I'm going inside. I'm going to save Talim now. Yeah, and Talim, <laughs> when she goes against Gale, is like, unthink, boop, boop, done. It's such an overpowered thing. And then, but in the heat of the battle, they're like, no, nah. yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I want to roll around the mud, get have guns. and 30. This is an interaction between between Cleon and uh, and Hollow Harry. Weird. I'm prepared to show your people mercy. In exchange for what? Admit that your math is flawed, and I will spare Terminus. So this is weird. So Harry wants to destroy Terminus, or or wants Terminus to be destroyed by the Empire. Mm-hmm. So if he lies and says his math is no good, then that spares Terminus. But that's not what Harry wants, so he doesn't. He has to not lie here, so that Empire gets upset and attacks Terminus. Although I'm still not sure why Terminus being destroyed is critical. The the, the best I could figure out, if, if me filling in blanks, the best I could figure out is that if Terminus is destroyed and he can save all the people, then that bolters bolsters their their mission for the future. Like we were attacked and we were destroyed, but we'll rebuild even better. Like this is how dangerous we are. Our ideas are to the society of, of the empire. Like they're going to attack us. Like, that, that's the best I can come up so with. So Harry's going to use the destruction of the planet to motivate the foundation even more. 
I guess so. He's like, if because they destroyed our planet, we will pave roads the next time. We yeah, like, we're going to do it right this time. <laughs> Look at you guys. You suffered without paved roads. Like, this time we're going to do it right. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. It, it just seemed like the Foundation could destroy the fleet without destroying the planet. But it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Yeah. It was also weird to me that, like, why didn't Harry just egg him on? Just be like, Terminus is is something you should be afraid of. Like, we got weapons that will destroy the entire Jantar. You don't take okay. us out, we're going to take you out. Like, why why ride the line this tightrope like, perfectly? Like, just, just bully him. Yeah. Just bully him, put him in the corner. Egg, egg him on to destroy the planet. Sure. Then you, like, for sure guarantee that he destroys the planet, and then your plan goes as, okay. as expected. Right. And this this uh, this day is is pissed off enough to do it anyway, but yeah. Harry doesn't necessarily know that. He should That's keep right. egging him on. That's right. Yeah, Just weird. push buttons. Weird, weird interaction. Super it's, cool. Yeah. Super cool scene of Terminus being like eaten up. Yeah, there's the red matter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, 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 that's exactly right. So what is it? It's The Invictus has like a black hole in the middle of it. So when that black hole gets like exposed to a planet, it just sucks the planet in. Is that what was happening? Was that was that explained to earlier in the season? I, I, I don't I, they remember. Just, they just said it here and I was like, well, I guess so. Okay. Guess so. I'll roll with it. So Invictus requires a black hole to jump. I mean, this is really awkward tech given that Foundation is able to use Whisper ships. I mean... Actually, well, yeah. Why don't they just retrofit it with Whisper Drive stuff? That's right. Why use this awkward, dangerous, like, dangerous black hole tech? Yeah. Take that out of there. That's right. Decommission it and put on Whisper Drive tech. It has like 160 years to do it. Do it. Right. And Hollow Harry doesn't have much say in that. He's like, but you need it. To, we need it to destroy the planet. But we that's not what we want. That's right. Yeah, weird. Super cool, though. Super cool. Yeah. Planet busty stuff. Planet busting. Yeah. That's weird. Here it's getting sucked in. And here it's getting pushed out. I guess, you know. Yeah, collision dynamics. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Sure, yeah. It looks cool. I'm happy with it. Woo! Also, this color for Demisol, this purple, it's mm, mm. a good look for her. Yeah. Cool scene. Super cool. And then Empire's like, yes. Yes. He's just like, he loves the destruction. Yeah. He's a weirdo. I am Empire. Please yeah. enjoy the peace. This is how I do it. No, the peace. This doesn't look like peace to me. It's part of the steps to getting peace. It's a police action. It's a police action. That's right. You just mow down everybody. With your gun for the peace. That's right. War is peace. I mean, war is the forefront. <laughs> this is the first beginning stages of peace. War is the beginning stages of peace. Yeah. In a way. In a way. I, yeah. Kind of. Okay. In a way. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting. So tell him is out, and then this cult is like, we're ready for a new leader. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Weird that they mention that there's a lack of trust between them, and then they're like, it's over. Like, these people have been doing some bad stuff That's right. to these three. And these three have no reason to trust him. That's Plus, right. they just got out from Tellum's spell mm -hmm. or mind control. Mm -hmm. do, they, they, do they know who to trust? They That's just, right. They just like immediately fall in line. Like, these are new leaders. Actually, actually so they're, they've been under the mind control of Tellum. Shouldn't they be like, who the fuck are you people? <laughs> we, I've been in a mind control. Who are you? Why would I follow you? I guess, sure, let's follow you. Oh wait! So are they during the mind control, they're they're conscious, right? So they have memories of being. Oh, it's not like a, I, if it was a if it was like a blank, like they have you know they 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 arrive on the planet and then it's blank, and then they reawaken when tell them like then they have no idea, right? I so so it's uh, it's unclear to me. It's unclear to me what their level of consciousness, what their level of agency, what their level of like knowing what's going on is going on here. I see. Well, considering that they know who Salvor, Harry, and Gail are. They must be aware. They must, must be aware, informed. but like, but they're guided, I guess. Is they're guided, answer. yeah, yeah. Weird. It was weird. Weird interaction. Also, like, from from the three our main characters, mm -hmm. why should they trust these people? Like, they also don't know to what degree they've been controlled by. Like, what right. if this is also still a ploy? Like, you don't right. know. It would take time to build that trust up. And even if they did, they're like, oh, they're, the mind control is gone. It's still gonna be tough. Be like new for a fact 
I mean, they they still all like literally bit into the mollusks. Mm-hmm. Like suffering is totally okay. Like they mm-hmm. still bit they all bit into a lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Weird vibes. Cool though. Weird vibes. Uh, here is Demerzel throwing out some insults. What have I become? You're a sperm led by its waving flagellum, mistaking its render motion for complexity. Damn. Hmm. What a burn. Yeah, so I guess the genetic attack really fucked the Empire up to the That's point right. where his he's a sperm spazzing about in a fluid. And he doesn't know what he's doing. Hit him deep. Weird. Weird. I don't know. I don't know what else to say except other than this is the genetic attack has been extremely effective at. Degrading. Oh, you mean genetic attack as in like when those people attacked the genetic line and messed up the DNA? So that's right. No, oh, okay, okay. I thought you meant genetic attack. She's like insulting him based on genes, like, like genetic. Oh no no, she's just using the sperm analogy to say that he's crazy. I see. So, like, instead of being the Cleon dynasty, like, you're floating around, flopping mm-hmm. around, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah I got him. So, the genetic attack has degraded the Cleons so much that they just, they're making terrible decisions. Yeah, weird. During the fight, during the space battle, Glaywin and Belrios, they, uh, they hang out on the phone. Palace one to Destiny, do you read? Hey, Jeno. Oh, fuck. Oh, we lost your signature. Where are you? Space battle's still going on, right? So I think this the, the fighter space battle is, is over, but Palace to wanted- the there's still a lot to do. Absolutely. Right. It's it's just strange that well first off, you're the Bel Rios is the general. Don't send your husband in put him in danger. That's right. It's distracting you. The crew has to stand around while you take care of personal business. That's right. <laughs> <It's> like, ah. <laughs> uh, everyone's like, everyone has their hands in there. Like, oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, he's not going to say anything because his husband's in danger. Like, just don't send him. Send You don't have another qualified pilot to lead the squadron. That's right. I think I think the military has rules about this. Like, you're, you're literally not allowed to serve next to your partner because, like, you don't make good decisions. Like, you don't make good decisions, yeah. And then they're tying up command comms with like a one-on-one <laughs> verification that somebody's okay. This is right. not worth the command structure's time. It, you know, it gets weirder. It gets weirder as you watch it because go back a little bit. Mm-hmm. There's Brother Constant and Homer Mallow. They're yeah. just, they're also watching the conversation go down. Yeah. And then here's Empire. He's like, he's like, take down the Invictus, uh, but go ahead, take your phone call. Take your phone call. This guy, <laughs> this guy's like, uh. I'm passionate through. <laughs> I'm, not I'm the comms guy. Yep, good thing. <laughs> These two are not even like we're not even gonna pretend to work at this point. All right. We're just gonna stand here. They're literally <laughs> hands in the pockets. <laughs> yeah. Weird that Bel Rios it doesn't seem like he's commanding anything. He just is tracking his husband the entire time. That's right. Like the fleet uh parades itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, weird. Okay, so that's it. This is episode nine. What's going to happen next? Mm. Are the Metallics still a cult? I think they're still a cult. They're just new leaders. New leaders, yeah. They just latch on to the next thing. The next thing is it. I hope Robert Mello does something and that it's not just like, I have a secret plan, like here it is, boom, it worked. I, mm-hmm. I hope it's like, hope he actually does something. And I'm, I'm super happy that we finally got some Foundation and Invictus updates. I'm a little unhappy I didn't learn about the crew situation, the maintenance situation, the supply situation. We just sort of see some crew who are like, and then they're dead. They're dead, yeah. Uh, but we got an update. Like, we know Finally. what the Invictus Finally exists. Back. Yeah, it's part of the battle, and the Foundation still exists, part of the battle. They teased us for nine episodes. Finally, yeah. it came out. Finally. Finally. See you for the last episode. Next Season one. two, episode 10. <laughs>